Yeah, what an absolutely That's massive play to play. Is he going to get the, the one shot? shot? He gets the one, one hit KO! Hey everybody, welcome back to Fight for First. Look at the team, same team, cause it's been awesome. It's been doing great work. Holy God. We're gonna play it one more time. Yeah, let's get in this. Woo, woo, woo. So last time I asked you guys all to dislike my video, and I hope that went well, cause I'm recording this in the future, and if it went poorly, shucks. But if you guys did, and you were like, oh, that was fun, uh, maybe leave a like on this one. Like, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, and, oh, question of the day. Uh, mm, I can't ask you guys Nintendo or Sony or Nintendo or Xbox because we're all playing Pokemon and that's a Nintendo franchise. But let's go Sony or Xbox. Are you a PlayStation person or are you an Xbox as, you know, your other console? Answer me. Put that in the comments below and uh, we'll see how that goes. And so, let's get into this battle today. Woo, woo, um, woo, Machamp doing real work, real work, Moongus saving butts, Tyranitar coming in, freaking just massive Reptar just taking dumps on people, so it's been great, it really has been great. Seeing as it's 2.16am, we're playing some Japanese people, and uh, it's got the dog, it's got the dog I want to punch, fairy dog, I've been looking forward to punching this thing forever, um, will I get a chance to though, I'm not sure. He's got Lando, and that really scares me because my whole team is weak to Lando's shenanigans. So, I really want to go Amoongus Arcanine. Um, I'm not, guys, I'm not confident in this at all because my whole team's weak to Lando's for sure coming. I'm starting Arcanine Amoongus. I want to intimidate the Lando, put it to sleep, and I want to snarl this Sylveon before it destroys my face. That's my thought process. Um, I can Amoongus away a lot of Conqueror stuff, unless it's Ice Punching, but then I'll have it Intimidated. Suicune comes out, Amoongus is going to get the Spore on it. Um, Gengar comes out, I can just Snarl it. And uh, Thunderous is out there. I mean, it'll taunt my Amoongus, but well, I'll know the Taunt's incoming. Um, what are we going to do? You definitely... I would suggest on every single team having at least one thing that's off the ground. At least one thing. Just because Lando, especially in this format, is so prevalent. Me, I don't follow my own rules. Um, very, like, ever. So I'm facing a terrible, 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 terrible dilemma. But, um... I mean, Machamp doesn't have Ice Punch either. Flip a dip. Do I even want this? Maybe I want Mawile, and maybe I want Tarantar. I don't want my chance to punch the dog. I'm gonna try to punch the. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I needed to punch Suicune. I, I, I really do. Because Amoongus is not gonna be able to take out that bulk by itself. Um, yep. And if I brought Tyranitar, I'm really afraid of the Scarf Lando just earthquaking me. So let's do, let's go, let's, let's see what's up. We gotta put that Lando to sleep. But if it's next to Thunder, so I'm gonna get taunted. Okay. I might be able to survive a couple turns. Especially because he can't earthquake next to that um, Suicune without Suicune switching into Thunderous or say anything. So, so far, so medium. So far, so medium. Moongus is gonna start doing work. Now, Amoongus is always a threat when it gets on the field, so there's always a threat of him doubling into it. But even if he doubles into it, I'm pretty sure I can survive, and I have a generator. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with the Snarl here, and I'm really hoping I outspeed this Suicune and get the Snarl up before he blasts my face. So he protects that, so... Okay. And he Earthquakes. Okay. Well, thanks for nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, we gotta do big damage, so let's send out my champ. I don't want to send out my other Intimidate just yet, because it's not going to be worthwhile. 
Suicune's here. If I get burned, guys, this game's over. Um, because that, that crit, uh... I don't know. Would I survive it? Depending on his item, I think I would, but... Let's find out what his item was as I knock off him. And if, if I don't get burned, I can win. I'm going to put him to sleep and stuff. But if I get burned, um, this game's over. Pretty much. I don't want to Rage Powder here because I'm not going to get the momentum I need back to win this game. No burn. No burn. Focus Sash. Okay, so it was Sash. So I probably would have... I think I would have survived. We can do that damage calc later. So far, so good. Giga Drain. And um, let's get rid of this Lando, because we got to get rid of it. I'm hoping this knockoff's enough damage. It doesn't have an item anymore, so it got a little bit nerfed power-wise. Come on. Get rid of this Lando. Please. That was a close one. That was definitely a close damage roll. Here's a Giga Drain. I'm going to knock off the Suicune's item soon, too. Um, but that's going to give me a little bit of health back. What's he sending out? Doesn't have Talon Flame, thank God. Thank God. Um, what's left? What's left? What's left? Thunderous was on there. Um, what the hell was that? Conkelder. Okay. That's an Ice Punch Conkelder, I think. <sighs> really could double into. No, I'm gonna. I'll put the Conkelder, Conkelder to sleep. I think. And knock off the Suicune. But I could double into the Suicune. I'm going to double in the Suicune. I'm doubling. Oops. Because I, I, I'll i get rid of it this way for sure. That's what I want. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Because I have Mawile in the back. I can get rid of this Conk Elder. I need to get rid of this thing before it burns me. Jesus Christ. It's so defensive. Come on. He's going to knock me right back off. There goes my Citrus Berry. Jeez, I would have really liked that. Um, but since he's a swing, oh, come on, next time, next time get that, Amoongus, next time I need you, I need you. I'm going to put the Conk Elder to sleep. No, I'm going to protect, I'm going to protect Amoongus. I think it's the threat for him, I think if he wakes up, he's going to, he's going to Ice Beam into it, so I'm going to protect the Amoongus. He woke up. Please, please tell me I'm right. Please tell me I'm right. Oh, he protected. Okay. I think he was going to Ice Beam. Or Ice Punch. Come on, show me the Ice Punch. So far, so good. Mawile's coming in. Um, can't switch moves. Because he didn't knock my Machamp off yet. To get rid of the Suicune or to knock off the... I'm going to get rid of the Suicune. Let's just bring him down to two Pokemon. Get some Regenerator back. Should be able to take the hit. Even if I get burned, the Suicune will go down. Please don't be Resto Chesto. Oh, no, he can't be because I knocked off his thing, right? Uh, he's got Intimidated now. Icy Wind. Okay with me. I'm already slow. I mean, now I'm going to be slower than Conk Elder, but... Um, well, will I? Depending on his speed. Because I'm pretty fast. I'm max speed. Knock off. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, he's at minus one. Can I recycle some of these Intimidates? That would be great. He went for the Drain Punch. Okay, good move on his part. But I survived because of the Intimidate. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Ballsy move of him to um, just leave my Moongus to do whatever I wanted, but... Do I let Machamp go down and then fight this out? Or do I want Machamp? Is he going to burn my Mawile? Is he going to? Do I save the Machamp? I 
I have a full health of Moongus right here. I think I'm going to get Mach Punch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch. I'm going to save it. I'm going to try to save it. We lost our Machamp last game to this same thing. So let's see if we learn anything or if we're walking into a trap. I mean, he's probably going to Will-O-Wisp, but he's Mega. He might not have Will-O-Wisp if he's Mega Gengar. At least this way I didn't have a stuck Machamp in here who we just left alone. But he wouldn't have, because I have Knockoff. But Knockoff wouldn't have even done that much to Gengar because it's Mega. Um, what do you got? Mock Punch? Okay. Oh, and Mawile? No, okay, Amoongus, yeah. I could have protected Mawile and then switched in. Ah, sh Oh, nice! Okay, good. In retrospect, good. I could have protected Mawile, switched in um, Amoongus for free, and then Rage Powdered and gone after the rest of these guys, but I figured even if I was burned, two play rocks would get him. I think. I think that's right. I think that's right, because of huge power. So I thought I'd go for the attack, not even, you know, not knowing if he was going to be uh, Will-O-Wisp or not. If he was, a lot of Gengar right now are running Icy Wind. He could have very well Icy Winded with Gengar to KO my Machamp and punch my Mawile. Um, and that would have still done a mess of damage, even though he's at minus one. Um, but he did reveal Will-O-Wisp. And I, I figured, even worst case scenario, I could probably still play around that Will-O-Wisp. Especially because, if he has Will-O-Wisp, he would he also have Icy Wind? Maybe, but I'd have Machamp, I could come, and I could, I'd could i still do the play rough damage and stuff. So, I think... I could have made a different decision, but I think I like the decision I made. It obviously ended up working out. Will-O-Wisp, 85 accuracy. Um, but we look important part. We learned the mock punch. Remember the last time we lost the champ for the same, same, same exact thing. We took that knowledge. We were like, mm, switched it out into the Amoongus, and we got crit. But we the Machamp survived. It was an awesome switch in. Could have protected Mawile. We could have been a little bit more safe about that. Um, do I think, like in retrospect, protecting there is obviously the right play. Well, in retro retrospect, since he missed, it wasn't. But if it had hit theoretically. Well, we would, we would have gotten one of the play roughs on. Let's do let's do one damage count before we go for the day. Here we go. Mega Mawile against Conkeldur. I'm not max attack. I'm definitely not even adamant. I'm careful. I'm definitely like 44 or something. Um, so the play rough is doing 127, 151 right now. Okay. If I'm burned, we're doing 63 to 75%. And this way, if he did burn us, we're still doing over half to that thing, to that um, Conkeldur. So we're going to put it it's within KO range of another attack. Maybe even a bullet punch from Choice Banded Machamp. Oops, wrong thing. Bullet Punch was do this many. Close. Close. Maybe after a Giga Drain or something. Depending on his... Uh, and this would be worst case scenario. So, whatever. Um, it probably had this. But anyway, it would have put it within a 2k shot anyway. So, either hitting it once or hitting it twice. And that way, I couldn't... I didn't want to risk him Ice Punching into Machamp. Which he probably could have and should have done. Just to... Uh, because it would have finished off the Machamp either way. I would have outsped him though, guys. Like, this speed is... I mean, it's 69. I was 100 and... What is my Machamp? Maybe I wouldn't. I'm 2, two here. And minus 1. Where would that speed are we? I guess it doesn't tell us. Um, he might have outsped us. What is 2 thirds of... Someone... I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. Someone could do the math later. It's right... 30, 36, I'm, f I would have been, I still think I'm faster, because I think it's like 36, 37, and that would still put me one above him, so I think, I think I'd still outspeed him, but correct me if I'm wrong, chat, or everybody else, because it's, like I said, 2.29am, so, yeah, this way we still get the two-hit KO on him, we get Amoongus in, and so even if he made a great play and punched into Amoongus and did a lot of damage, I still would have survived. I'm bold and stuff, and he was at minus one. I'll he crit, so if he had gotten the crit ice punch, maybe a different story, but that would have been hacks. So ignore the hacks. Would have gotten it in, still done the damage, still been able to rage powder away the threat. 
I mean, you know, knock him with uh, another play rough or an iron head even at that point. And got him. So, I think that's the right play. Um, but somebody else could come and tell me I'm wrong and I could be convinced. Because I'm not perfect. And if we're burned... Where's the burn? God damn it. Yeah, and Ironhead would finish him off at that point. So, yeah, it put it into a pretty good place for us. So, yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. Learning from our stuff. That's, that's what matters. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. Don't forget, uh, if you disliked the first video, nice. If you haven't, go back and dislike it. I think that would that would be fun. I would go dislike I'm probably going to dislike it myself. I think that would be fun. And then if you li dislike that one, maybe you could like this one in repayment. That would be cool. Anyway, thanks so much. And uh, don't forget to answer the question. PS3 or Xbox, what's your, uh, which one do you prefer over the two? And, uh, and don't be negative. Don't be like, well, one sucks. Just, just be like, I like this one better because I like this stuff about it. So, you know, positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Anyway, thanks so much, guys, and, uh, have a great Monday night.